There you are. Turn around, you guys was gone. Man, I need to disappear so quick. But uh, anyway, I mentioned on camera that there ain't no tools for removing clay. And uh, went to town with my putty knife. Bam! So boy sent me a little, so let's see the little wires down there. Got different angles. And uh, there's a circle one. That's pretty cool. I will use that. That will come in so handy. Thanks. <laughs> I guess there is tools for removing clay. So I can't use my chisels for that anymore. Alright. Now, back to work. Enough loafing. Guys, what I'll tell you about the loafing. Okay. Can you to weigh up some resin? It's still my same old epoxy cup that I had for a long time. It still looks pretty good, too. Especially for me. Alright. Let's measure up 200 grams. Slow down. Slow that train down, though. Yeah. Train kind of got sidetracked there the past couple days. Sorry about that, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, the train's chugging on now. We're back up to speed. Okay, this is 25 to 1. Yes, 200 grams, so 50 grams of hardener. This is the stuff you got to be careful with. Don't want too much harder than this. Alright, what did you do with the lid for my hardener? Who picked it up? It's gonna be right here. Gotta be right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now we're gonna get all these bottoms covered. Put a layer of pill ply on everything. Really wanna scrape these sides. You want to scrape these sides down when you're mixing epoxy. So get in there and get the sides of that. Okay, I got all my stuff kind of stood up. See? Now, what I can do is grab me a brush. Yes, yeah, first thing first. <coughs> First thing first. You guys see? Back you up here out of the way. Stay away from my coffee now. Mmm. Good stuff. Okay. I'm gonna get this end at the and the bottom at the same time. Put me some resin on there first. I already got all my glass cut. And we'll be able to start priming this stuff tomorrow, people. Cut this off square.
That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. One no dry spots in there. Got some red, I got some more cloth, got some more peel ply, so it's okay to put this coat on a little heavy. As long as we go past our edge, we're going to go past that edge a little bit with our resin. And when I cut that off, I'll have a nice square corner. If my resin's a little bit short, I can, it's going to be, I'll have to put Bondo in there and everything else. So it's best just to run your stuff a little bit past it. And when you trim it, now when I trim this edge here, I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I'll trim that when this resin starts to set up and it's firm but still kind of soft. And I can get a nice cut on it, nice sharp cut. I'm gonna grab me some pill fly. This is my pill plot layer. Yeah, it ain't quite long enough. I'm gonna put this in two pieces. Not a big deal. That's beautiful. That's beautiful stuff right there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh-oh, running out of time. All right, I'm going to get these other ends glassed, and I'm just going to have to let them set for a while. And uh, think about getting the F-16 out and doing a little work to it. You guys want to watch that? Yay or nay on the F-16 while.